Hi y'all, Tammy here. How are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. This is Faith, Family, and Fashion. And my dogs start barking. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, they're outside. Hopefully, they'll stop in a minute. Nope. Okay. We're gonna go with it. <laughs> um, as I said, welcome back to my channel. This is Faith, Family, and Fashion. Thank you so much for coming back and uh, spending this time with me whenever it is. It's the weekend for me, and so that means that I have went to the 99 cent store, and I have went to the Dollar Tree, and I stopped by Daiso, which you guys now have told you about is that uh, Japanese kind of dollar store kind of place. This is kind of random. I'm pretty excited. I think I found some really cool things. Um, and all this, oh, I'm so glad y'all can't see the mess that is here. I've got to get to cleaning and putting stuff away so that it doesn't look like quite a mess. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've, like I said, random, I'm going to have to reach for this stuff. So you guys forgive me. So let's just jump in and we'll chat as we go along. That's why I forgive, I've been out all day. Forgive the, the, the hair. It's hot. We're in Texas. It's late September. It's still hot. It's like festival season here. It was Oktoberfest last weekend. Great fest. We just went to Greek Fest this weekend. There's Western Days um, also going on tonight. But it's like too hot to spend any time outside. Okay, so this is Daiso. They don't put their name on the bag. Sorry. And they're still barking. Okay. Uh, I picked this up. I thought this was really cool. Everything pretty much in the store is $1.50. Some things are a little higher. But this is a vegetable steamer. So I really liked this. I come home for lunch most of the times. And when I go to Costco, I buy a lot of vegetables. I do squash and zucchini, some asparagus, um, you know, whatever looks like a great deal. I try to stick with really good vegetables and chicken and fish. Um, I've been doing really bad lately on my eating and exercising, so I'm trying to get back. So I like this. So this is a vegetable steamer that you can use in the microwave. So that's the back of it. So it's got that little steamer tray inside there. So uh, I believe we do have instructions in English in the back. So I, I like that. Um, what else did we get? Okay, I got this. I just picked up a couple things there. It's still, like, pretty new and pretty crowded. <laughs> so, I got this. Yeah, not even going to try to say that word. Anyway, it's one of these hair tools to put your hair up in a bun. I am, like, so unsuccessful in trying to put my hair up. So, I thought maybe this would help me because it actually, like, shows instructions. Like, she has long hair and it shows you how to do it. So, we're going to give this a whirl. Hopefully, this works. And that's not really it. What else did we get? Oh, I thought this was cool. This is for me. I'm such a little kid. But, you know, I stay stressed out. And so anything I can do to kind of de-stress. And I like coloring for that. And this is actually called Coloring for Adult Series. And it's really kind of neat because, um, I mean, it goes through. It, like, even shows you, like, like techniques for, like, you know, I want to say brush strokes, but like using pencils. Um, and it, like, see, it gives you demonstrations. But what's really cool is you get over here, okay, and so you have a picture already done, and then you get the picture that you get to color yourself. And I thought that was kind of cool. And what's really neat about it, see, there's more instructions. What's really neat about it is they're actual postcards. So, over here, sorry. They're actual postcards. So, whether the one that, you know, is already decorated or the one you decorate, you can actually mail those out to somebody. So, even if you want your kids to do them, I just thought it was kind of neat. You know, my kids will definitely, especially my older one, will definitely sit and do some of this. Look, there's like the fish, the koi, or whatever they are. I don't know. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? I don't know. It's something different. I thought it was really kind of cool. We get these at H Mart, but my son was with me and he loves these. So we got the Hello Panda cookies. These are awesome. And we try to, we, we like to try, I thought I got something else, but we like to try something new each time as far as like food and snacks and stuff. And, um, my little one wants to do a whole video just on like, um, 
Korean and Japanese snacks and try them, tasting them and trying them on camera. So I think we may do that soon. But these are called peach jellies. They're actually, I think they're really pretty. Look at the packaging. Can you guys see that? You know what it kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of those Turkish delights. Uh, maybe not as super sweet because I think those are like powdered sugared on the outside. It's got a very mild peach flavor. I actually like them. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, this is going to be kind of long, so I need to jump into it. Okay, so some things, some of, some of these are out of the bag, so I'm sorry. So I found this at the 99 cent store. I was pretty excited about this. I went to the 99 cent store twice. Filmed the video and the camera kind of, anyway, it wasn't good. So I tried to remember what I showed you guys. So I found this. I actually bought multiples of these, and I never buy multiples of anything because uh, usually I don't know the product very well, and I want to try it out, and then if I like it, I've usually missed it because it's sold out of it. But I actually bought four of these. I bought this. This is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream. I actually really like this. It's got an SPF of 15, and it also says that it reduces um, dark spots. This is the light. I probably could have went with a light to medium, but we'll hopefully one day we'll get into fall in Texas, and, uh, you know, it won't matter so much. I really, really do like this one. I bought this at the store, which I've had a difficult time finding this product at a store. Um, my, my ultimate favorite BB cream is the L'Oreal Luminous uh, Finish BB Cream. It's awesome. This is a very close second, and this, I want to say, was around $6 or so in the store. This is a normal full size. This was a dollar, so I got four. It was all they had on the shelves. When I went back to the uh, 99 cent store uh, this weekend, they were all gone. Another product that I really wish I had bought more of at the 99 cent store, I didn't know anything about this product, and uh, but it is going to last me a while, is this. This is the Dove Dry Oil. You guys see this? It is a full-size bottle. It is 3.38 fluid ounces. I've already taken it out of the box, but it looks just like this. It's a tall bottle, the, the height of this box, and it's kind of got this gold oil in it. And actually, when I went to research this online, the Dove website has a video on it of uh, someone showing you how they use a product. And they actually use it wet on wet or dry hair. And she showed you the whole thing. And so it's great on either one. And especially in the wintertime, my hair gets a lot of static to the point that it just drives me insane. And it's just clinging to my face or clinging to my clothes. And um, so this, I'm really hoping it's going to help with that. And... Um, when I went looking for this, this retails in the stores for like 13 bucks, and I got it for a dollar. Tell me I should not have grabbed a whole bunch. They're gone. Don't blame them. Um, but yeah, but what's great, I really think it's going to work or last a long time. On the video, the girl that's in the video, she shows you. When you pump it, it's got a little pump at the top. It doesn't like pump all the way down. It only pumps a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. So you just pump a little bit, you rub it in your hands and then you rub it through your hair. That's all you need. So I was really excited with this. I picked these two things up at the Dollar Tree. I'm kind of really liking some darker shades of lip color. This one that I have on is actually blush. It is the e.l.f. HD blush, um, which is horrible. <laughs> absolutely horrible but I think it turned out pretty good for a lipstick um, I, I tried to squeeze some out one it comes out really funky maybe it's old maybe it's too dry because it doesn't come out liquidy it looks like it's supposed to be a liquid comes out kind of dry and I tell you I had to scrub my hands for a good five minutes because I put it on the back of my hand like I do a lot of my makeup my whole hand was red the washcloth is red so uh, yeah wasn't real happy but this is almost the same kind of color this is a uh, milani power up cabernet i thought that's a really pretty color isn't that great and then this is milani intense lip uh color lip intense liquid color and it is okay i do have my glasses y'all don't judge me i can't see little print okay this is called pink rave isn't that pretty i thought that's really pretty i like that Okay, let's move on. What do we got in here? Um, leftover lunch. Uh, 
Okay, this is a 99, no, this is a Dollar Tree. I did find, I know everybody found a Hobbit Jigalade products, and I found, I've got another one of these somewhere. I got the pumpkin spice. They had the pumpkin spice, the lavender, and red something, honeysuckle. I really like this one. Maybe it's because I want it to feel like fall and it just smells like pumpkin. But I know it's a really good deal. It's got two, four, six, eight of these in there. So I love my little wax melts that I burn. I love those. I found these and I thought they were adorable. You guys have seen people haul these, but this is the first I found them. And they are the adorable little acorn salt and pepper shakers. Are they not the cutest little things? Oh my goodness. I actually have a set of salt and pepper shakers. I don't use salt and pepper shakers, but I like to decorate with them. I have a little set of owls, so I'm going to put these out with them. So I thought that was cute. And, okay, let's go. I wasn't thoroughly impressed. I'm sorry, I told y'all I had to reach. I was not thoroughly impressed with the Dollar Tree this week. Um, I just really didn't find a lot of stuff there, but I did, like I said, find a lot of stuff at the 99 cent store. They did have the Island Fresh Gain, and I got two of these. I'm already using one. And I did see Coupon Girl. She buys that other brand that they always have at Dollar Tree. Is it called Breezy? So I think I may try that next time. You guys know I always get the foil and I always get this one. And this one actually says it's compared to Reynolds Wrap. And I really think it is. And uh, my mother-in-law lives with us. She'll use this and she's usually really picky. And let's see, I got more, I told you, staples at Dollar Tree because I just didn't find a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm going to show you the staples that I buy because, you know, I like to see what you guys get at Dollar Tree too because I'll try something if you guys are trying it. I needed some of the large, the gallon Ziploc bags, so I got those. Okay, and then I got, like I needed any more of them, I got some more lip color. This, I don't think, has a name on it. It's a really pretty kind of natural nude kind of pink color. Isn't that pretty? I really like that one. And I did find the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, um, does it say what it is? Uh, maybe not. Just this Cocoa Butter. So I found this. My lips are always dry. Always dry. Okay, I got the Essie Nail Strips that came back again. Um, and I only got two. I still have some, but mine kind of got stuck on just a couple of colors and I had, don't have these and I didn't see them. I thought those are really pretty teal blue with the little sparklies at them. And then these are the gray with the really pretty little, pretty little silver sparklies. So even though I get my nails done most of the time, I thought these would be kind of fun to have. I like those. And as if I needed any more, I got some more nail polish. These Revlon ones. Do you see the packaging of them? Do you see how they package this? They don't say Revlon on the packaging at all. It says nail art two color in one, but it says Revlon on the package. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I do have a, I have so much nail polish. Um, but I just couldn't pass them up because I really love these colors. This is a really pretty kind of iridescent peachy color on the top and a beautiful fuchsia pink on the bottom. This one I love. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's like a deep red and then kind of a gold champagne -y kind of color. Can you guys see that? Gorgeous. Really love this one. This looks like it's got a very gorgeous metallic y um, violet color and then kind of a matte gray color. Really love this one. Love, love, love that one. Okay, and I got this for fun. I actually was with my niece today and I meant to to give this. I was going to give this to her. Um, I don't know if you guys remember these. I think these are. Do you guys remember as a little kid the little rollerball lip glosses? That's what I think these are. Are they not cute? I remember having these. It's like the only thing my mother would let me have. <coughs> I'm sorry. There's so much ragweed and stuff in the air here. Everybody sounds like they're sick. It's just allergies though. But I thought those were cute. Look at those. I think my niece will love those. She'll play in it. But I thought they were fun. They just kind of reminded me of childhood. All right, I'm trying to keep this stuff in the bag so that I don't make an enormous mess more than I have. Okay, let's see what is this. This bag's heavy. Okay. Oh, I got two of these because mine don't have them, and I know we all haul these back around the holidays because they're so fun to set out. Um, but it is the Martinelli Sparkling Grape Juice, and this is the red one. 
and these go super duper quick apparently people in this area buy these up fast so i got two bottles of these to put back my kids think it's fun to drink out of those i got another three pack of peanut butter because these are awesome to take on the go i will take this with some with an apple and take it to work for a snack take it with some crackers and throw it in my purse if we're going to be out for a while and I got some, I'm really hoping this is okay because my kids are picky, but I got Syrup Delight Milk Chocolate Syrup. Figured for a dollar, that's actually a pretty good deal. It's really heavy. So I got that. Is that everything from the money nuts or from the Dollar Tree? I got a couple of these little one boxes. I seen a whole bunch of them a couple weeks ago and then I went back and they only had like two. So we're going to do kind of a craft project for this. I'm going to try it out and maybe do it as a... Uh, let the kids do it for like Christmas gifts or something. Um, so if it turns out the way that I'm hoping it, we'll do, we'll leave one plain, we'll do one, and we'll show you guys what we do with these. Okay, um, and then we got some movies. You've seen a bunch of people haul movies um, a couple weeks ago. We just got them, so we got a couple here. So my youngest got a couple of these Super Mario movies. This is awesome. This is something I can pop in and he can watch and keep him busy. Um, I got The Maiden Heist with Morgan Freeman. That looked like a really good movie. When does he not do it a good movie, right? Um, Adam Sandler and Don Cheadle, Rain Over Me. I usually like everything that Adam Sandler is in, so I'm hoping you like that. I don't remember seeing that one out. And then we got this one to watch as a family, The Adventures of Mickey Matson and the Copperhead Treasure, and it has Christopher Lloyd in it. That looks like a really good little family movie. So, I mean... A dollar for movies to sit down and watch with a family so I thought that was kind of cool okay on to the 99 cent store we'll do the boring stuff first they had these 99 cent store I love they get some really great name brand items in there as I've kind of showed you a few um, these are the special K nourish hot cereals and it's got a, a quinoa blend this is maple brown sugar crunch and it's got like these nuts on the top and there's two of those so I got that I got a pretty big bag of baby carrots love those I have showed you guys this before if you are not baking with this you should be it is the Molina Mexican vanilla I promise you it is going to taste better than the artificial vanilla crap that you buy this is awesome and they had whole house white chocolate chips for a dollar so I think we're gonna make some white chocolate cranberry oatmeal cookies so if you want to see us make those then uh, leave me a comment down below and maybe we'll film it I found oh I forgot to turn the volume of my phone off my periscope just went off so uh, all sorts of noises here I got this because you guys know I'm trying to eat healthier as I just told you that I'm trying to make cookies those are for the kids okay this I've seen so many people I watch several people here on YouTube that eat healthy and do all sorts of stuff and I've seen them use this as a butter substitute and it's I can't I can't believe it's not butter and it's the butter spray and it's like zero calories so I was pretty excited to find that that was a dollar as well and we got the diet Snapple singles we love Snapple around here and so my kids will drink water all day long if I put one of these in it or if I buy Snapple they are gone I have to hide my Snapple so they don't drink them all I have found some really cool stuff here oh wait a minute I think I got a few more things from let me show you this stuff first okay I bought these because everybody has hauled these I already opened them and tried them and these are the caramel apple taffies I have to say they are pretty good okay kind of digging those we got some Starburst. Who doesn't love Starburst? So you can go in the candy bowl. And everybody hauled these, so I got some too. And these are the Russell Stover Caramel Pumpkins. And I got this. I thought this was pretty cool. I've been trying. My mother can do anything. Anything. Creative. We can go to like these craft stores and different places and see something. And she has... I can make it and like the next week when I see her she's already got it made so I'm trying to uh, learn to crochet because she can crochet anything I showed you guys in a video uh, one of my I think my clothing haul that she she crocheted me a purse a whole purse so look this is like a little baby crochet kit and you make three little bugs and it comes with the yarn and the crochet hook 
So I'm going to see if I can actually sit down and do that. I don't have the patience. She does, I think it's a problem. Okay, so I'm going to force fall. It's going to be fall in my house, even though it is 100 degrees outside. So I've got a lot of fall decorations here. Periscope's going off again. Anyway, I got this cute little, I love burlaps. It's cute little burlap with a little raffia around it. Cute little burgundy colored flower. This color kind of is the pop of color I have in my living room. And we went to, oh, I got another one. This is kind of burlap with burlap orange. Super cute, right? A dollar. I know I could probably make these, but that's just, they're already made. Takes it out of my hands. It's cute. I got this adorable little squirrel. You know, I just love critters, you know. Squirrels, um, owls are my favorite. So look, he a little bobblehead. And he's got the acorn. Look, isn't he cute? He's adorable. Look at him. Look, how can you not, how can you see him and not get him, right? He's so cute. Look at him. He's just adorable. So he's going out in my fall decorations. Okay, so you guys know I live in Texas. So the weekend before the first Monday of every month, about 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes from the DFW area, a little town called Canton, the entire town turns into a huge flea market. I keep saying I'm going to take you guys there with me, but it's been so hot. When I get there, I don't want to film. And you get really bad, almost no cell reception down there. And there's no place to charge your, your phone or your camera. So I haven't been taking my camera with me. I think I'm going to try to take my camera this next time. But you're doing so much walking and you're outside, you don't really want to carry anything with you if you don't have to. But there's, uh, I'm going to try to do that. So this was from last month when we went. It's everything, okay? It's craft made. It's, whole, it's, it's new. It's used. It's vintage. They got animals, okay? They got, I mean, everything from your goats to your furniture to everything in between. If you can imagine it, it's out there, okay? So I got a little Christmas decoration because I thought he was completely adorable. They have the greatest home decor places down there. And this little guy, it says Handyworks. Hannah's Handyworks, okay? And he was $4, and look, he's got his little elf hat on. He's got his cute little piece of pine. He's got his little reindeer ears. He's got a big reindeer nose. Look at him. He's got his little scarf on. He's got some holly right here and cute little plaid shirt. Is he not completely adorable? Oh, my goodness, that's so cute. When I go back, I may get some more. But what was hilariously funny. Okay, I'm going to see if y'all recognize this. Okay, this is the other thing that I got. And I only got one because I kind of wanted to do it myself. See if I could. And it was, I think it was half off. So I think it was like $2.25. It's this cute little acorn. Look at that. And it's just kind of that jute rope. You know, all over the whole thing. With a little stick in the top. A little stick in the bottom. Is that not cute? Okay. So, I go back to show my dad what I found, because I, mean, I went with my mom and my dad, and he goes, look, it's the squirrel from Frozen and his nut. Does that not look like the, the squirrel from Frozen, instead of a little reindeer? Is that not hilariously funny? We cracked up about that the whole day. Maybe you had to be there. Okay, so there is this place. Told you they have a lot of vintage stuff. I'm just dropping stuff. I don't even know where that went. Okay, we're going to leave it there. I don't want to see me looking for stuff. Okay. So, there is this place there that has vintage um, tablecloths, um, quilts, aprons, all this really cool stuff, and I love it. Every time I go there, I got something. So, I got two table scarves, okay? And so, this is one, and it's a really pretty fall design, kind of a cream color background. It's got the really pretty uh, fall, like, squash and colors in it. Is that not really pretty? These were like two bucks a piece. So I just really couldn't. And this one, did I only get two? I guess I did only get two. I thought I got a third one. I guess not. This one, I adore. This, somebody made this. Okay, so this is a like the bar mops. And look, look at the owl. Look, look, look. He's not a cutie. But look, he's got little baby owls. And somebody hand stitched him on there. I don't know if you guys can tell that. But look at the bottom. So then we have a pretty little piece of lace that they intertwined some some uh some ribbon in and then they have this adorable little hootie owl print at the bottom look at that is that not so cute that's just a 
adorable. So I couldn't, I couldn't go without them. I have a soft spot for owls. They're so cute. So yeah, so I got those. Those are adorable. I love them. Okay, your food, you go over there. Okay, let's see. Now we're getting into more stuff. Okay, I found some, I think I found some awesome decor stuff. I'm going to move up. All right, I hope y'all don't see all the mess going around. If y'all do, please excuse it. I'm going to be cleaning when I get through with y'all. This is stuff is heavy. I think I found some awesome hall decor stuff. Hall? Fall decor stuff. Whew, I need to eat. It's supper time. Okay, and these... I do my glasses. Okay. Let me see if I can see if there's a... I think these were all dollar. These are by Harvest, Happy Harvest. It says Table Decor, Momentum Brands. I got a couple of these by this same brand, okay? Look at this. I'm telling heavy. Look at this. Look at this pretty little orange squash. It's got some little leaves on him. Look at that. Is that not cute? I love this. Okay, and then he has a little friend. I'm going to have to reach y'all. This stuff's a little further back. He has a friend that I love. Okay. Same, same brand. This one's cute. Look at this. We got us a little brown pumpkin. He's got in some carved little leaves. It says be joyful. Got some more leaves down here. Look at that. Okay, it's telling me that my battery's going to die soon, so I'm sorry. So I may have to film the rest of this on my phone. Isn't that cute? Okay. So I got that. Love that. Okay, got a few more things. I'm going to try to get through this it ends. I guess I'll film the rest on my camera, on my phone. Okay, a few more haul decor. Haul? Oh, why do I keep saying haul? Okay, I got this cute little plaque. This was $1.49. It's got an owl on it. It says Autumn Blessings. Look, he's got little, you know, eyes that kind of glow there. Beautiful uh, yellow, golden color eyes. Is he not cute? I need those little stands that hold the plates up, and I thought they had them at Dollar Tree, and I couldn't find them. Okay, and then, I thought this was really pretty too, and this actually is like a photo for like a frame. This was a dollar, same brand, that Autumn Happy Harvest, and this says Happy Harvest of all things. It's got a beautiful little sunflower on there. It's actually glass, so it, it stands up on its own. Okay, and then I got this that I think is gorgeous. It says give thanks. It's got a beautiful pumpkin on there. We got some little glitzy glitz stuff going on there. You guys see that? Is that not pretty? I love these. Okay, and then I found an actual picture frame that I could not pass up. This was $2.99. This is the most expensive thing I bought the entire weekend. And look at this. It is that really pretty wooden looking frame. It's like wood look. And it's got the glass and this image is set in the glass and it's sand it's a beach and you've got the fencing back here and it says when you see only one set of footprints in the sand it is then that he carried you and I adore footprints so I don't know if you guys can really there's a glare on it so I'm sorry is that not gorgeous for $2.99 that looks so much more expensive than $2.99 I'm hoping I get to finish this I'm gonna try real fast okay so I've got a couple cute adorable little owls look at him he was a dollar twenty nine look at him he's got the little hole in the back so you can put the little tea light in there is he not adorable okay and then I got another little owl Look at him, same thing, and put the little tea light in him. Cuteness, cuteness, cuteness. Hey, I am really sorry, guys. My camera just died. Oh, goodness. Hi. Technical difficulties. Like, I want to see a close-up of my thumb. Okay, I don't know how much time I have on here. I got like 10 minutes, so we're going to rush. I think I showed you these. I'm going to show you these again. These adorable little owls. Aren't they cute? They were $1.29. Or one was. I think this one was a dollar. And then this is the other one. Isn't he cute? He's my favorite. Yeah, he was $1.29. I 
but they have a little holes. So you can put the little tea light in here. So freaking cute. Okay, I got all this tissue paper here. I got three of these because I already have one, and I, once I got home, I'm like, oh, I need more. I think these are gorgeous. These, look at these. These are kind of a ruby red. I don't know if it's showing up, but it is a ruby red glittery pumpkin. You guys, I really don't like decorating for Halloween. I don't like the gore, the skeletons, the blood and guts kind of stuff. I really love fall. So you just don't know how many pumpkins I've collected over the last few years. <laughs> but I've not seen any like these. These were 99 cents. I got three. Now I have four. So these are just gorgeous to me. I love these. Take in that glitter. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Okay. Got three of those. Oh, here's. I found this. So, I told you guys about this stuff, right? So, this is Suave. And this is Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion uh, Smoothing. All right. I can't see. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Smooth hair lasts through three washes. It is salon proven to smooth as well as Redken Smooth Lock. Heat activated smoothing cream for frizzy and unmanageable hair designed to use with a flat iron. This was a dollar. Tells you how to use it. I'll put it up here to show you guys. Told you, 99 cent store has some great name brand stuff. So there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm going to be trying this out and letting y'all know what I think. So, love this stuff. Hoping I love this stuff. Don't like the e.l.f. HD blush little bottle. No. Okay, I got one more bag. Okay, so I made one of these from Dollar Tree. should have waited and bought one. I'm not in store, but I'm going to use this on the table. I made a wreath. I guess I should show you guys that. Uh, this was $1.49. You can't see it anyway. Take my trust me, dollar forty nine. So it's one of those. What do they call these? Great Von Reese. Anyway, it's this guy, dollar forty nine. Cute. I'm gonna sit on the table. Pretty pretty candle in the middle of it. Something, owl. Something. Okay, this guy. Come out of the bag. Okay, gotta hurry. Running out of time, y'all. Running out of time. Dollar ninety nine. Not because I have anywhere to go. My cameras don't like me today. Okay, look at this. It's pretty. Even just like this, but I'll probably add some stuff to it. But it's just really pretty. Just like that. Right? Beautiful. Love fall. And I'm telling you, I'm a force fall in my house, even if it don't feel like it. And then the last thing that I got, I got this bag. Again, Happy Harvest Pinecone Decor. It was $1.49. This is the brand of all their fall decor stuff. Look at this. I'm going to maybe put this in a vase or in a bowl or something. It's got pine cones. It's got some fake leaves. It's got these gorgeous acorns. There's a there's a library in a close city that has a, these ginormous pine cones this size. Last year I went and bought a bunch of them and spray painted them. I should go back there. So yeah, it's got, I mean, even if you sit it, like it's got a little ribbon, so like you could like use that in your decor. <sighs> okay, do I got anything else? I got this sitting here. I bought this. I love tea, you guys. I'm always drinking something. I can't believe I don't have a drink of anything in here with me. This is from uh, Target. It is the Simply Balanced Organic White Tea Peach Honey. And what's cool, you guys know, I have a heart condition, so I'm not allowed an enormous amount of caffeine. Um, so it actually tells you your caffeine meter right here. So it goes up to five, and this is only two. And you, like, put it in your hot water. You only have to let it steep for, like, two or three minutes. It is awesome. Oh, it smells incredible. I think I may have some of this tonight. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love watching you guys. Uh, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, that kind of hauls. I hope you enjoyed everything. And um, I'm going to try to, you know, get some more videos out for you guys. I got some more stuff to show you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to stop and thank God for today because it truly is a gift. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.